What do you need? A jet. What do you got that's fast? Let me think. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're gonna explore the magical world of Pixar today as we dive into the captivating realm of animated films that are not just for kids. Ah, uh, you'll get over it. What does this mean? Well, these are the films in which you'll find dark humor and adult jokes. From heartwarming stories to thought-provoking themes, Pixar always delivers cinematic masterpieces that resonate with audiences of all ages. Uh -uh, we did it, gang! So grab your popcorn and let's embark on this incredible adventure together. I'll start with my favorite Pixar movie, Coco. I used to run like this, but now I run like this, it's just way faster! 2017's Coco is without a doubt one of the best Pixar films. Thanks to its emotional storylines, Coco took the world by storm, attracting fans from every Every age. I often refer to Coco as an emotional roller coaster because that's exactly what this film is. I don't know about you, but I cried my eyes out watching this masterpiece. The film follows a 12 year old Mexican boy named Miguel. Miguel ends up in the land of the dead by accident, and there he asks for the help of his deceased musician great great grandfather. The film explores different themes, including the struggle of finding your real self and growing up in a world that's not perfect. And the attention to detail in this film is on a whole other level. Pixar was carefully creating this project by constantly talking with Latino consultants. Coco is actually a perfect representation of what Pixar movies look and should look like. And when I think of Ratatouille, I think of art. I mean, I'm not ambitious. I wasn't trying to cook. I was just trying to stay out of trouble. Released way back in 2007, Ratatouille is followed by the same popularity today, with it being a popular subject on TikTok. It's safe to say that Ratatouille is considered a film that both adults and children can enjoy, thanks to its sophisticated storytelling and thematic depth. And yeah, I know that most of you would say, well, when you think about it, all Pixar movies are for adults, but Ratatouille stands out as a film that tackles more mature themes. And if you think about it again, you'll realize that the creators manage to turn a single rat wants to be a chef's story into something truly artistic and magical. More adults can relate to the story thanks to the passion and art. Don't you guys agree? Let's continue with the more recent Pixar project, Turning Red. Maylin Lee. Ever since I turned 13, I've been doing my own thing. Turning Red surprised audiences and critics by becoming one of the most critically acclaimed films released in the last couple of years. The incredible coming-of-age story focuses on a 13-year-old Chinese-Canadian girl, me, living in Toronto, who experiences the challenges of adolescence. The twist in the film is simple. Me turns into a giant red panda when she gets too excited or overwhelmed. The fact that she turns into a panda when having strong feelings about anything already tells you that this film includes some teen adult themes. For those who haven't seen the film yet, please do it ASAP. It's really a must watch. Just like the next project on our list, WALL-E. I, I decided to watch WALL-E a couple of weeks ago just so that I can feel the same things I felt while watching the film for the first time. Sadly, you already know that's not possible. It would have been great to erase this film from my memory and watch it for the first time. The story is quite simple. A robot falls in love. The beginning of the film almost has no dialogue, and it's still one of the most emotional film beginnings in the history of cinema. It's honestly one of the best dystopian stories ever. This was one of Pixar's experimental films, and luckily, WALL-E also took the world by storm. There were rumors about a sequel, but no, the creators think that WALL-E won't be successful as a franchise as it is a standalone project. Before we continue with our exploration of the wonderful world of Pixar, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We explore a variety of captivating topics like this, so you don't want to miss out on any upcoming content. Now let's jump right into the magic of Luca, shall we? First time? <laughs> Of course it is! I'm a good kid! Pixar's Luca is yet another recent project with incredible storylines, fantastic animation and visuals, and of course, the adorable characters that teach us valuable lessons. The coming-of-age story follows the lives of Luca and his friend Alberto. You need to know that they were both sea monsters dreaming of what life was like on land. Luca discovers that his fins transformed into legs, and well, the adventure begins. Luca's score is pretty high in Rotten Tomatoes, and based on reviews, Luca is definitely 
film for both children and adults. The thing is, the story hits different at different ages, and that's what we love about Pixar films, don't we? And no, we didn't forget about Monsters, Inc. Uh, smelly garbage or old dumpster? You get the low tide? No. How about wet dog? How can we? Released 20 years ago, Monsters, Inc. is without a doubt one of the best animated films in the entire history of cinema. The film opened a lot of doors for animation back in the 2000s and thus became a cultural phenomenon. So, what is so special about the film? Well, I would point out the unique concept. The film presents an amazing and imaginative picture of a world where monsters exist and rely on the screams of children to generate power. This unique idea captured the attention of children and adults all over the world. Starring John Goodman as Sully and Billy Crystal as Mike, the film includes an amazingly talented cast ensemble as well. But the fact that Monsters, Inc. has maintained the same popularity over the years since its 2001 release proves that the themes and messages featured in the project are still relevant today. Then there's also the film's humor that's aimed at a huge target audience. With its humorous dialogue and creative visual jokes, Monsters, Inc. is truly a must-watch. Because, as mentioned before, the sophisticated jokes can be appreciated by older viewers. So, when I bring up The Incredibles, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? I'm going to look for him, and that means you're in charge until I get back, Violet. What? What do you associate this film with? For me, this is a family and superhero movie that differs a lot from all of those Marvel and DC projects. And while every year we get over 10 of these live action superhero flicks, not one of them can top Pixar's The Incredibles. The graphics, the animation, the attention to detail, the perfect storylines, everything, absolutely everything about this film is incredible. And when you think about it, The Incredibles is all about the family, which is why audiences of all ages can relate to it. How would you guys rate The Incredibles franchise? Let us know in the comments before we continue with another title up. Can you stay? Well, you're my dog, aren't you? And I'm your master. You are my master! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Up Begins is one of the saddest, most depressing, and heartbreaking films in history. Seriously, I don't think I've ever cried from the very beginning of the film. But then I watched Up and I was sobbing in the first couple of minutes. The film focuses on the main character, Carl, as he meets a person that changes his life. Not a romantic interest, this is why the film was and still is so successful. It's not the typical romantic story, but it's a friendship tale that will be popular at least in the next 100 years. Up's darkest moments are something almost all adults will relate to and feel, well, the pain. And last but not least, we have Inside Out. That's it! No, 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 breathe! Find your happy place. Ah! Inside Out is another movie that is not just for kids because of its representation of emotions. We can all relate to the film because we all have been in a situation where our many emotions were at war. Inside Out focuses on Riley, a girl who moves from one place to another and experiences the different struggles of growing up. And while doing so, we follow the emotions of her emotions inside her. Those who have seen the film know that this sentence makes sense. And this is where our exploration of Pixar movies that transcend age barriers can Includes. We hope you enjoyed this magical journey through animation and discovered some new favorites along the way. Did we forget to mention some film that was worth mentioning? Let us know! And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content like this. Until next time, remember, adventure is out there. Hello! I know! Hey, wasn't I great? Did the whole family see it? It's your mom.